it is time to see what's new at the marketplace this week. But before anything, I trust you all are doing great today. Welcome back and hello if this is your first visit. For anything that's related to flight simming, you've come to the right place. So hit that subscribe button for future releases on this regard. Today, we're going to see the best of the lot of the items from the marketplace that include Sanji Ford Airport from Orbex, the Augsburg Airport from Aerosoft, Cuberon Airport from FS Dream Team and the Akoronia Airport from TDM Scenery Design. The Sanje Ford Airport by Orbex, which is a major airport in the Norwegian region that's located near Oslo Ford, serves most low carriers and charters flying across Europe. This is a well-made airport where you can find few different areas which include the European Helicopter Center for training future helicopter pilots, Pilot Flight Academy Vidra where there's a specific area to serve these airlines and maintenance areas. Orbix has developed this airport from the ground up with a good use of PPR and 4K textures. The developers are glad to mention the good use of ultra details of the actual airport. You can find interior modeling along with the passengers seated at the lounges, additionally a diverse range of vehicles and equipment necessary to service aircrafts during passenger and cargo loading as well as unloading, maintenance and other ground-based operations are visible in the airport. Orbex is always keen on making things look more like the actual airport. Looking at the details, we can see that they've made good use of terraforming across the area with mountainside modeling. Performance is another thing when it comes to Orbex and the performance seems to be perfectly balanced well when we got a chance to try this where Orbex have seen that they've done a good job at optimizing by using the latest set of tools to develop this. This is sold at almost $18. You can find this at orbexdirect.com. The primary features of this airport is that the performance on the FPS is great. The airport has been developed well that looks quite close to the actual airport. A good amount of PPR has been used along with 4K textures. This custom PR and the interior modeling along with passengers is always a great asset towards this airport. Aerosoft, one of the finest developers, I would say, have come out with the latest creation, the Augsburg Airport. It's a small airport, it's located in Germany, in the city of Augsburg. This airport is mainly used for general aviation as well as business purposes. Augsburg is the third oldest city of Germany. It features a good accurate recreation of the actual airport which is the EDDK in short. You can't miss the detailed models of the airport which have good amount of quality that include hangars, buildings and other facilities. Good amount of PBI textures have been utilized for all objects across the airport including ground poly details. The aerial imagery seems to be photorealistic that has high resolution across the airport. Along with that, dynamic lighting has been well done as well as other areas of the airport. This is sold for $15. If you live in the area, this would be a great addition to your pack. You can find this airport at aerosoft.com and many other interesting airports from Aerosoft. A developer like Aerosoft wouldn't disappoint you. Every aspect, details, ground poly, structures, buildings of any of those Aerosoft airports would never disappoint you as a user. So take a look at their website aerosoft.com and you can find many interesting packs. Next up in line is the Cuberon Aerodrome from FS Dream Team. This is quite a unique airport. It's an aerodrome. It's been well received by a handful lot from the community. And this airport is located in Morbihan, which is a region near France. It's more of a leisure airport that's been focused on tourism, which include light aviation, helicopters, as well as parachuting. Very seldom do we come across animation in many of these airport packs and it's definitely nice to see some animation in and around the airport which makes the environment more lively. You can find good detailing in the areas where PBRs have been used. FS Dream Team mentions this very well about this airport which is not being ported which is always a good thing as some developers try to port directly from other platforms that include FSX, X-Plane, etc. Which is definitely not good practice. So FS Dream Team have recreated this airport from ground up which is always a benefit. The marina nearby which is the Cuberon Marina have seen improvements with boats as well as the lighthouse. The weather aspect responds well being a dynamic environment. 
Lighting is dynamic too, depending on what the weather is as well as the time. It's a slope runway, an interesting aerodrome with lively activity and it's sold at almost $10. This can be purchased at fsdreamteam.com or simdirect.com. The Corunia Airport, which is the LECO in short, has been a new development from TDM Scenery Design. It's good to see new developments from TDM Scenery Design towards Microsoft Flight Simulator and they've been in the flight simming business from quite a while, more than 15 years. So this is their second development, which is the Corunia Airport. It has a 2.3 km runway that's 2300 meters. This airport has been well laid out for good visibility, making it much more easier for the user to take a good look at the runway before the land. Jetways are customized and developed to see what they look like in comparison to the actual airport. This also includes the terminals, buildings, hangars, markings, various items that can add a good aspect across the airport to make it much more detailed. The AI traffic along with the ATC are well integrated to see a smooth flow of the operations that go across this airport. Developers have not just worked on the airport alone, they've made sure to keep the airport terrain as accurate as possible to meet the elevation standards along with the runway placements. You can find airport vehicles along with other vehicles in the area. Native PBR materials have been used to develop this airport to give a good detail overall. Sold at $18, you can find this interesting airport at tdmscenerydesign.com or simmarket.com. The links for all the mentioned airports along with details can be found in the description below. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't for more future releases coming along. Do take care and have a good rest of the day.